Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So a while back I've done a video on this, the Radio Shack DX394 shortwave receiver. This week's video we're going to build ourselves a simple long wire antenna for use with the DX394 shortwave receiver. But first things first, we need to do some shopping, so let's go. Right, we're going to pop into this rubber dias so we can get ourselves some speaker wire. Have a look at the cables. There you go, that'd do. Yeah, what's this? This is uh, 10 metres, should have split down the middle. What's that? £6.50. £6.49. That'll do. Let's go. I'm going to try and pop in there and get some black tape. Let's hope I can find some. Right, we've got a load of tape here, we've got no black one, but the blue one should do. Just to tie the wires around with. Yeah, do. Let's go. Okay, so the back of the shortwave receiver has a PLT59 plug. So I'm lying about the shack. I've got this old piece of coax here. On the end there is a PLT59 plug. Nothing on this end, and all I'm interested in is that bit there. So I can tie the speaker wire around on there. We've got some Vivanco times 2 75mm. Uh, 10 meter cable and we can split that down the middle tie it together make it 20 meters and I've got some blue insulation insulting whatever you want to call it tape that's just to tie it over the connections if you're going to leave this thing out overnight now if your receiver's got a different connection BNC, N-type, phono, phono socket, something like that then you can probably get an adapter to adapt that to the correct connection for your radio so I'm going to build the aerial and I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done before I put on the tape. Right, so I separated the two wires on camera. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it won't be when we set the aerial up. And literally all I'm gonna do is tie these two wires together. Just like that. So the wires are now tied together like that. And I'm gonna place on my insulation insulting tape, whatever you want to call it. You can make it look a bit neater than me, but I'm doing it for just doing it quickly for this video. On the other end, which is here, this end, I'm going to tie it round this piece of coax here. That wants to be a bit longer, so let's make it longer. No scissors, use the teeth, shouldn't be using teeth to do that. So, made it a bit longer. We're going to tie it round here. There we go. And put some tape across it so it stays in place and doesn't come off. You can make it look a lot neater than me. I'm just doing it quickly for this video. So is that one done? And that one done there. So effectively that is our antenna. So I'm gonna go and mount it outside, but I'll do that tomorrow. So I'm gonna film this over two days because it's pitch black outside now. Which all I'm gonna do is plug this end into the receiver and put the other end out the window, out the window there, and up the garden. And then we come back up so we can receive off this shortwave receiver. Okay, so I'm outside with a camera and I've gone handheld and I've thrown a wire out the window and I've just extended it up the garden here. Or using all the 20 meters, you can throw this over a tree, um, up a bush, wherever you can get it. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna tie mine to an old stick that I've got in the garden there. You could use a bigger stick, make it a bit higher. But that's what I'm using for the purposes of this video. So hopefully you can hear people on the band with this home-built shortwave antenna. Let's go and have a listen. Okay, let's test out the antenna. So I've got it connected to the DX394, and we're currently sitting there on seven megahertz, which is the 40 meter band. Let's have a listen, see what we can hear. Now below 10 megs, you go on lower side band. So you've got, so standby, 
AM lower sideband. There we go, let's give it some volume and see what we can hear. Morse code coming through, see if we get it any stronger. Okay, that coming through is the FT8 data. I'll do a video on that at some point. See if we can hear anyone chatting on 40 meters. There's someone there chatting, not very strong signal though. So I'm just in. Oh, he's coming quite strong. Delta Lima 1. There's a German station, I believe. So we're saving stations, think that's from Germany. Just got the rest of the, rest of the 40 metre band. station there a bit clearer. So let's try 40, uh, 20 meters now. So frequency 14. Enter, go up one to upper sideband. See if we can hear anyone. Oh, a lot more Morse activity here now. Lovely. Call it a 9 plus signal on the Morse. God, that's strong. up to FT8 data again. I want to hear people talking, so we're near and on talking. Okay, so there was a bit of Morse activity on 20 metres. But no one was actually talking, we heard the FT8 data. So there we go, the long wire antenna connected to the DX3 and R4 receiver. The bands are pretty flat, so we did hear some activity on 20 and did hear some activity on 40. So 40 meters, we had a little bit of Morse, FT8 and people chatting. 20 meters, heard the FT8 data again and quite a lot of Morse giving us a 9 plus signal. This is a nice simple antenna to build, so I'd say give it a try. I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73s.